How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to become a reaction channel. All you have to do is just follow what I do right now. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Amber and I'm 13. Has anyone ever betrayed you? I hope not, but I think that you're probably able to imagine how painful it is to know that your parents never wanted to have you. Imagine. Open your eyes in the morning after having had another nightmare about monsters torturing you and can't find anybody from your family at home. You search wow. for them, call for them, and then you just begin to cry. Because there's no mom, there's That's no dad sad. that can find you and calm you down. Well, this happened to me when I was six. I'd gotten really scared, lived in the poorest neighborhood and in the smallest apartment ever. But when I was left there alone that day, alone, six monsters to me. I remember that I cried so hard that I fell back to sleep again. Also, it's and only been a minute. My eyes, it's only been a minute, and I'm already tired from this video because this from actually happened, and it's kind of fake. But don't don't do that in the reaction, okay? Just all you have to do in a reaction video is go to a video that's way better than yours. And just sit there, and making facial and expressions, and yeah. That nobody had come and closing them back again, and I had that dream about monsters, and they told me that nobody wanted me. I felt so depressed. Had so six. Social services from the child protection offices or whatever institution didn't find me until two days later. Our neighbors probably heard me sobbing and called them. They took me to an orphanage, and after a few days there, a tall woman came up to me. She said that she was a doctor. A tall she was woman. Going to help me accept the fact that I had to live at the orphanage for a while. No, I don't think that place was bad. I think it was a disaster. I mean, I lived there with a bunch of other different children, and not everybody was nice to me. Once, an older girl named Vicky accused me of stealing because she'd found a chocolate bar under my pillow. She said that this bar was given to her by a lady who always came to visit Vicky. But I didn't know that. It was my first week there, and I just happened to find that chocolate bar on the floor and hidden it so I could eat it later. I didn't know that it was anybody else's or that oh I was God. not supposed to do it. So I'd gotten punished. However, being punished wasn't mean to me. My dad would always find a reason to say that I did something wrong. I won't go into detail. I'll just say that my body was never without any bruises, as far as I remember. My dad wasn't mean. He just had some problems with self-control, as my mom would call it. One day, I saw her crying. Self-control. She said that my dad loved us, and since he was the only breadwinner, he would soon be out of food and money. Actually, if you don't know what... Pretty much any other channel that does this, they post stories. Really, any other channel, um, like, then Story Booth is actually, Story Booth is real. Any other channel that does basically the same thing as that is actually most of the time fake. They actually, they would usually make it up or go on Reddit and then copy their, someone else's story. So, just thought I should say that. Back in three or four days, but the days without him were surprisingly peaceful for me. But then, both of them were gone, and I don't know what happened. I mean, I was talking about them every day, but none of the grown-ups in that orphanage knew anything. And about the grown-ups, different people who wanted to adopt a child would come to see us pretty often. They would watch us play, bring us something tasty, even talk to some of us. It reminded me of a pet shop, and look at puppies trying to figure out which one would fit with you the most. I didn't want to be a puppy. I was sure that the day would come when my mom and dad would find me and take me home. But they didn't. One day, I accidentally overheard two of our teachers talking about my parents. It turned out that the police had found my mom in a rehab center. I couldn't believe my ears. They found my mom. I was definitely not supposed to hear that news, but it was so inspiring that I just couldn't stop thinking of the day when she would finally come and take me home. I spent days and nights counting minutes until the moment I so saw my mom again. I mean, this is I was drawing so sad. Lots of different pictures to give her. I even stopped being angry at stupid Vicky, who had been down on me ever since that chocolate incident and kept teasing me. 
One day, she, as usual, was bragging to everybody about a cake the woman who wanted to adopt her had given her. Vicky was supposed to share it with everybody, but she had all intentions of dropping the piece, which was supposed to be mine, on the floor. I wanted to punch her in the eye and told her that she might be getting adopted soon, but I was about to see my real mom. She said that I was a liar, and that Miss Patterson, the headmaster, heard it, and, well, I had to have a serious talk with her. It turned out that I had misunderstood the information I'd heard. They had really found my mom, but she didn't want to take me. She denied her responsibility as a parent and said that she was ready to sign any papers for any family that would ever want to have me. This almost killed me. At first, my dad dumped me as if I was nothing, and now my mom is happy to not be my mom anymore. Because of everything, I felt sick and stayed ill for ten days, unable to eat or leave the bed. It had been six months of me being at the orphanage when I had found out that one nice family wanted to become fosters for me. They told me about their nice big house with a pool and a big black dog and stuff. I was tired of being alone because I hadn't made friends with anyone. So I agreed to go with them. This family, the Johnsons, were kind. They had twin sons that they'd already adopted, and as far as I understood, if the boys and I got along great together, they were ready to have me, like, permanently. Life with the Johnsons was interesting, maybe, but not fun. They were very strict and severe in their punishments. Of course they didn't beat us, but after any shortcomings from one of us, be it a broken plate or loud rock music, they leave all three of us with no supper, even if we were hungry. They thought that this would develop a family spirit among us. And since my new brothers were naughty 12 year old boys, they rarely ate in the evenings. They also wouldn't let us listen to anything other than classical music and arrange a piano teacher for me. Was it bad? Of course not, you'd say. But this wasn't the family I really wanted, I guess. I lived there for a while when social workers, as usual, came to check and see how I was doing there. But this time, it was different. It turned out that my dad had appeared and wanted to have me back. The Johnsons were devastated because legally, he had the right to take me. The next day, they set up a meeting with him to discuss everything, and guess what? He figured out that I had gone in with a wealthy family and demanded money in exchange for the right to be my parent. I'm not sure what happened next in detail, because back then, I was only seven years old. And I doubt this information matters. But you see, both of my biological parents apparently didn't want to have me, ever. Now, as you might have guessed, I still live with the Johnsons. They've adopted me, and now they are my only parents, legally. With time, I not only learned to play the piano, but also got used to their family rules. I can even say that I love them now, but don't tell them this. My brothers have grown up and are now studying in college already. And recently, one of them posted a photo of his classmates on his Facebook, surprised to recognize one of the girls in it. See? That's Vicky, my former chocolate bar friend. I hope that my story was interesting or maybe inspiring for any of you. Oh no, okay, so that was how you make a reaction video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye guys. Also make sure to subscribe, comment, blah 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 blah.